Hi everyone, my name is Daria Driver and I'm a senior community manager here at Trough Fury. Today I'm super super delighted to welcome you to our very special stream. So today we don't just play Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley demo that I, by the way, highly recommend to check out if you have a chance, but also do some readings of Tuvi Janssen. I have two books here, so I have... Um, the first one, which is The Moomins and the Great Flood. If you've never seen it before, it looks like this in English. And also um, Comet in Moominland. Uh, so this is the second book that Tove Jansson has written um, about, uh, about Moomins and their world. Um, so the idea is that we will be encountering various environments, various characters in this stream, in this demo, and I would just like to show you how they look like in the original works by Tuve Janssen, so in both writing and the drawings too. Of course I have my friend Moomin Troll here with me. Uh, as always, he was very kind to come and help me out today on the stream. Thank you so much my friend Moomin Troll. <laughs> And you probably noticed that I also got this wonderful hat and it was actually made by one of my colleagues um, he, as he's a huge fan of Snufkin and Moomin as well. So basically I guess I'm going to be Snufkin and you're going to be Moomin Troll and um, usually that's how it is but today I also have a, a hat so <laughs> something to be proud about. And I hope you will enjoy the stream as well. Uh, I like calling this stream like an ultimate Snufkin experience because outside of the books, outside of our friend Moomin Troll here who is uh, going to help me with the stream today, um, I also have this mug, for example. Uh, as you can see, it has a Snufkin on it as well. Uh, and like I mentioned before, we have the books, we are going to do some reading as well. So this is this kind of stream when you can just relax. Like guys, if you don't have like a cup of tea or coffee of hot or hot chocolate, like no matter what you prefer, this is the perfect time to grab it and just enjoy the stream, the stories, the characters. And honestly, I just can't really wait to start. So um, let me put my books right here next to me and uh, we will see uh, where this journey is going to take us to. Uh, so let's start. So um, 
No matter whether you have already seen this demo before or um, or not, this is going to be quite an exciting experience. I'm really, really rooting for it and quite am and am quite hyped up. <laughs> oh, so this this bridge scene is actually so. Uh, it also comes just like we mentioned before in our previous streams, in our previous materials, um, many characters, uh, actually all the characters that you see in this game, they all come from the original works by Tuve Janssen. And um, this bridge is actually one of the spots that also comes from the original works of Tuve Janssen. I'm going to show you just in a bit, so let's have a look at how the game begins. Um, real quick so um now we can see the moving troll this little guy here uh, i'll miss you terribly snufkin are you sure you need to go like i'd said that before but every time i see this scene it just it's just so heartwarming and so cute like i can't help but just be like oh i would never be able to leave this lovely cute moving troll <laughs> No, this is me today. Look, I even have like I don't have a flower, but at least I have a feather. So that's that's close enough, I hope. Tell me if it's close enough, guys. <laughs> I was doing my best. It's autumn. It's time. I'll be on my way. Besides, you moomins will sleep will be sleeping all winter. That's still not the reason to leave your best friend. <laughs> I mean, I sleep a lot during winter, but my friends don't leave me until it, it's finished. <laughs> That's just not fair, Snufkin. I, I, I disapprove. <laughs> oh, look, you made him cry. Why would you do that? Promise you will be back. I'll be back in spring, as always. Aww. Aww. Then I'll be waiting for you here on the bridge, as always. <laughs> Oh, Mumi Troll, you are so cute. I mean, look at this, like, I can't believe how similar they are. Like, the art, uh, the art team did such a fantastic work of recreating the the original characters from the Moomin, uh, Moomin novels and stories and the Moomin world uh, in the game. And look, like, just how similar they are. Oh, like, I can't believe this. <laughs> This is like a cuteness overload, honestly. Oh, I don't even want to let him go. <laughs> like because I feel so bad. Like because I'm I'm like a snuffkin today, right? So I just feel so bad <laughs> about leaving Moomin Troll right now. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Oh, okay. Um, I'll be waiting for you here as always. Goodbye, Moomin Troll. See you in the spring. So let me. Uh, all right, you will. I'm sorry, but you will have to stay here for a little bit <laughs> without me. So uh, one of the first drawings of this bridge you can actually see in the comet in Moominland. This one, the second uh, work written on Moomins by uh, Tuve Janssen, and you can see it right here. It's in chapter one in the very beginning. Look. This looks familiar. <laughs> I think it looks quite similar. Like we can't see the bridge right now, but if you remember, like the first, um, the very first moment of the of this cutscene uh, was when they both were sitting on the bridge, and this is the exact same bridge. So that's where the inspiration comes from. And here, maybe, actually, like you can see that Moomin Troll is already without Snufkin here. Uh, like at this point of the story in the book, they have not met with Snufkin yet, uh, as far as I believe. <laughs> um, but um, you can already see that Moomin is alone. And now in the game, Moomin is going to be alone as well. <laughs> this is so unfortunate. I'm also going to show you one of the first uh, drawings that appear in the novels of Snufkin. So if you just give me a sec. Because here uh, in the book, actually, um, so our game, it has a standalone story 
it doesn't have like um, it's based on the original stories but to by Tove Jansson but the story in the game itself is original so um, it doesn't follow the books and the, the original novels as much rather it has a thing on its own so in the novels um, Snufkin actually met with Moomin Troll and Sniff and Sniff is one of the characters uh, from the Moomin world as well and one of the characters that we are going to have uh, in the game too uh, actually you can have a look in our social media we have done some content with Sniff as well so let us know what you think about the about that and whether you associate yourself with Sniff maybe a little bit so this is one of the first drawings of Snufkin when Snufkin appears um, in the book uh, so this is how he looks like quite similar isn't he <laughs> Of course, uh, with his harmonica as well. Well, we are going to have a look at it a little bit later uh, once again as well. Now let's continue playing. So yeah, this, this is the bridge, as you can see. And here we can also see that Snufkin is going on his journey uh, throughout winter. So the Moomin Trolls, if you guys don't know, uh, they, well, people like say they hibernate during winter, but yes, they kind of uh, have a very deep slumber, very deep sleep during winter uh, in Moomin Valley. And uh, yeah, you can see by the way that it says inspired by the stories of Tuve Janssen. Uh, yeah, so they, they are kind of in the deep sleep and nothing much is going on in Moomin Valley in winter. Uh, so Snufkin goes on the adventure while waiting uh, for his friend Moomin Troll to wake up from the winter slumber. Um, so that's how our story here in the game also starts. Uh, by the way, if you guys have not seen this demo or have not played it yet, like I, like I mentioned before, I highly recommend playing it uh, on your own uh, if you have a chance. Uh, but also just to give some, uh, some more info on that. So this game has more than 30 various characters and creatures and critters. Um, to interact with and like I mentioned before all of them come from the original uh, stories uh, from Tuve Janssen so whether and, and actually one of the best things uh, that I like about this game a lot is that no matter whether you are uh, familiar with the Moomin world or whether you are completely unfamiliar and you just see wow these guys are so cute I want to know more but I don't know a lot about the Moomin world that's fine, because um, no matter what is your level, what what your level of knowledge of the Moomin world is, you will still enjoy this game very much. It's it's very cute. It's very wholesome. It kind of um, conveys the feeling of cuteness and wholesomeness and friendship. Um, and yeah, I just I just really hope that you guys will have a chance to immerse yourself into this beautiful and cute world and um, yeah, just get lost in, in this wonderful and wholesome feeling. All right, so we are back from our adventures in winter and we are really hoping to see our little friend Moomin Troll. Isn't that right? <laughs> I just I just can't help but like squeeze him like I really want to squeeze him all the time because oh how cute he is so as you can see uh, we are coming back in spring so we still have a bit of snow here and there and it's probably still quite cold um, but we already have some first flowers and some first leaves on the trees so that is quite nice uh, let's have a look what's here Oh, that's a nice view. And we it looks like we have like a sea or an ocean right there. And uh, in case you guys are not very familiar uh, who Snufkin is... Is it really him, Snufkin? I'm going to... I can't believe it. Come on. D give me one second to finish my sentence. <laughs> If you guys don't know who Snufkin is exactly, so he is a character who is a wanderer, an adventurer. He really loves just walking places and discovering new creatures, new new settings, and just kind of leading the vagabond lifestyle. 
but he is also very very good friends with Moomin if not best friends with the Moomin troll I mean uh, yep so let's find out who that is in that bush hello who's there oh yeeks strange phew that was close Oh, I'm, I would never hurt you. Come on. I'm a peaceful vagabond. Like, I I appreciate nature. Like, Snufkin appreciates nature a lot. And he would never hurt, I'm pretty sure, any creature or inhabitant uh, of the forest or the valley, for that matter. So, yeah. In our game, you can also jump to um, to go through all the obstacles. Uh, there's a number of other controls that we are going to learn here, so... There he is again, the Great Wander. Yes, this is me! <laughs> and today this is literally me since, you know, I have a hat, so... <laughs> Why would he speak to me, though? Oh, don't be so shy. I speak to creatures and inhabitants. Hello, who are you? <gasps> Too scared to talk. Oh, look at this tiny face. Oh. What a strange little creature. I mean, yeah. And also apparently very shy. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we are going to encounter them again. Maybe I know the truth about that. Maybe you, you know it, guys. I don't know. One way to find out. Just get a progress in the game. Get it together, just walk up and say hello. That's what I said. There is no need to be so shy. Oh, look, he appeared. You must be the great Snufkin. This is me. That's me. I am the great Snufkin. Who are you? Oh, nobody has ever asked me that before. Oh, I'm glad to be the first one to ask. Everybody deserves to have a name. Guess I'm too small and useless to have a name. That's not true. The time everybody deserves to have a name I agree with that like don't be so diminishing of yourself do you really mean that maybe you could help me find a name sure I, I'm kind of on my way to meet my old friend Moomin Troll oh this is you yeah. he's gonna get rubs every time Moomin Trolls are remembered in this game or mentioned in any way that's okay, I can tag along. I can even show you around these parts. Thank you, you're very kind. Let's have a look, we got a new quest. Nameless creature. Find a suitable name for the peculiar creature. All right. So we have a quest log here. Uh, and we can see that right now we have two quests and the active one is reuniting with a friend. So we are looking for our best friend, Moomin Troll right now. Moomin troll. You're getting rubs. <laughs> oh. Alright. Let's let's continue our journey. He's going to follow us as well on our journey. And actually, um let's just pause here for a second. Actually I hear I hear waterfall. Maybe there's gonna be a view. No, not really. Uh alright, let's let's pause here for for a second. So uh, in the first uh, works of Tuve Janssen, uh, it's very common to see that the Moomin Trolls are actually traveling uh, quite often with someone. So, uh, I have read both of these books and I've noticed that they usually go with someone or with a group. Uh, which I find quite fascinating and it's interesting that here in our game you can also see that now like we were just maybe like five ten minutes in uh, well maybe not ten but <laughs> around five minutes in and we already got a friend that follows us so that's that's quite quite cool and I think that's cool that the developers also kind of adhere to the original style of Tuvi Janssen even in this sense as well um, and in the first uh, two works, uh, Snufkin doesn't really meet, um, like, Titi Wu is not the first character that you meet uh, in them. So usually, um, or rather, the books, they revolve about the, around the travels of Moomin Troll. Uh, and the creature that is quite similar uh, to Titi Wu, uh, which is Sniff, 
who I mentioned before. Uh, so we meet him quite early on, and he's also quite scared and shy. So uh, let me just quickly, so I will uh, read a little bit, as I mentioned before. I'm going to read a little bit of Tuvi Janssen as well. Um, and in here, so this book, The Moomins and the Great Flood, it begins from Moomin Mama and um, uh, Moomin Troll. Uh, they are in the forest uh, looking for a shelter. And when they are looking uh, for one, for like a home or somewhere to spend the night in, uh, they actually run into somebody. So let me read this to you. Mm. Yeah, so they both are in the dark forest, uh, and it goes like this. Suddenly, Moomin Troll gripped his mother tightly by the arm. Look, he said, so frightened that his tail stuck straight out. From the shadows behind a tree trunk, two eyes were staring at them. At first, Moomin Mama was frightened too, but then she said soothingly, It's really a very little creature. Wait, I'll shine a light on it. Everything looks worse in the dark, you know. And so she picked one of the big glowing flowers and lit the shadow up with it. Then they saw that there really was a very little creature sitting there and that it looked friendly and a little scared. There you see, said Moomin Mama. What sort of thing are you? asked the little creature. I'm a Moomin Troll, answered Moomin Troll. I uh, answered Moomin Troll, who had had time to feel brave again. And this is my mother. I hope we didn't disturb you. You can see that his mother had taught him to be polite. Not at all, said the little creature. I was sitting here feeling rather sad and longing for company. Are you in a big hurry? Yes, said Moomin Mama. You see, we are looking for a nice sunny place where we can build a house. But perhaps you'd like to come with us. And how, said the little creature, leaving to out towards them, I'd got lost and thought I'd never see the sun again. So they continued, all three, taking a large tulip with them to light the way. So, as you can see, like here we met Titi Wu, like this character. Uh, a bit of a spoiler with the name, but <laughs> if you if you already seen this demo, or like I said, play, play it. Um, then you would know that um, that name for sure. Uh, but as you can see, like the way, uh, like and the first character that Moomin Troll meets in the book as well is also a bit shy and scary. But here in the book, it's Sniff. But here we are meeting uh, this nameless creature. <laughs> All right, let's continue our adventure in the game. If you guys haven't read the books, but are feeling excited about the game, which I hope you do... Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! That happens every time! <laughs> I have played this before! <laughs> but... Uh, I get I get spooked by those guys running, like, every, every time. By the way, do you guys have... What kind of hot drink do you have with you on the stream? Like, I have some hot chocolate. In my in my little snufkin mug. <laughs> All right. So share in the comments what kind of hot drink you have because I want to know what is the most popular drink to play snufkin with. That would be interesting. All right. So yeah, uh, those guys scare me every time, and I keep forgetting where they are, like at which point of the game. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, there you are. That's Muskrat, I believe. What's bothering them? Should I follow? Hmm, if you discover a leak, do you follow the flow of the water? Or do you track it back to the source? Tracking back to the source. Hmm. Go to where they came from. Your answer is probably there. So, Muskrat is a character who also appears in the original works by Tuvi Janssen, uh, and he's kind of a philosopher. 
And the first time he appears in the books is actually um, in uh, Comet and Moomin Valley. Uh, and it's a pretty interesting encounter because um, it's actually uh, not with Moomin Troll or Snufkin, uh, but with the Moomin Papa. Uh, let me quickly find it for you. So, yep, that's here. And Muskrat is considered to be one of those characters who is a, who is a philosopher. So it's it's interesting because um, it's interesting because um, that's what makes um, the entire Moomin world and all the Moomin stories are not interesting just for children but also for the adults because in everything. Um, that is very like you can look at the fantastic art style um, all the creatures all the characters and they all look like they could definitely appeal to children but they don't just appeal to the ch children they also appeal to the adults quite a bit as well and muskrat is one of the most favorite ones uh, that the parents usually of the children who are enjoying women like the most um, so Late that night, when everybody had gone to bed, Moomin Papa heard a plaintive noise. He sat up and listened. The rain gushed down the drain pipes, and somewhere a shutter banged in the wind. Then came the pitiful sound again. He put on his dressing gown and went to have a look round the house. He looked into the sky blue room, into the sun yellow one, and into the spotted one, and everywhere it was silent. At last he drew the heavy bolt of the door and looked out in the rain. His torch lit up a strip of the path and raindrops glittered like diamonds in the light. What in the world have we here? exclaimed Moomin Papa, for on the steps sat something wet and miserable with shiny black eyes. I am the muskrat, said the wretched creature faintly. A philosopher, you know. I should just like to point out that your bridge-building activities have completely ruined my house in the riverbank, and although ultimately it doesn't matter what happens, I must say even a philosopher does not care for being soaked in the skin. I'm most extremely sorry, said Moomin Papa. I had no idea that you lived under the bridge. Please do come in. I'm sure my wife can make a bed up for you. So, and you can see this <laughs> this very cute drawing of Muskrat being super, super wet <laughs> and sad. But look, like even in a situation like this, uh, the Muskrat managed to stay the philosopher and a very, very polite gentleman. So this is one of the few occasions when, uh, first occasions when we meet Muskrat uh, in the two Janssen's uh, stories. Um, so let's have a look what else we have in the game and who else we are going to meet. Uh, Alright, yes, yeah, so we can also climb. Let's have a look at that. Mm -hmm. I wonder, yeah, okay. So our nameless creature is with us. Pick up objects. So in uh, in the game you can also pick up some objects to help you continue your adventures, progress on your path. And uh, if you have seen our previous streams, like I always get surprised uh, by how strong Snufkin is, <laughs> because that that. That rock, like that piece of stone, I don't even know how you call it. I guess it's a rock. Um, like, it's so huge. And Hasnavkin has such little hands, like, it never ceases to surprise me how strong he is. Maybe you could play me a tune. Maybe later. I'm not really inspired. Oh, Snavkin. Soon, hopefully, soon you will be rather inspired. Uh -huh. Looks like we need a bit more of those to make sure that we go through the river. 
So let's have a look. We press S. Um, so in case you guys didn't know, we will... Um, so the game will be releasing on Nintendo Switch. So that has been already confirmed. And we are also planning to... Um, to release it on other platforms as well so bear with us uh, follow us on social media to make sure that you don't miss any updates uh -huh, I see so that's how we go down now and we take our rock and place it here as well yeah, if you if you haven't followed us yet, I would highly recommend doing that because we have a lot of content coming in all the time about the game, about the developers. Uh, we just honestly are really, really trying to to make sure that you guys have a very wholesome, very cute time when you go to our social networks. Like we really care about how you feel and what your experience is like. Uh, and we are trying to make it like as wholesome and cozy as it can be uh, because you know it's nice to have a break sometimes from our hectic lives and just enjoy this wonderful cute and wholesome adventure full of friendship full of this soothing music and the art style so it always makes sense to try oh and then then we get another creature. Try playing your harmonica for him. So if you remember, I showed you uh, the picture with the Snufkin playing harmonica before. So let's see. It's gonna, but yeah, he looks scary but friendly, just like me. And if you remember, like the first um, passage that I read to you from uh, from To Be Yance was Mumin Mama also said that. Things that are lingering in the dark sometimes are much scarier than they actually are. So let's not be afraid of things, like especially if that's creatures in, in our Snufkin game. <laughs> so let's... Um, I don't like how cute he is. Like, every time I look at him, it's like this moustache and the singing somehow just makes him so cute and like... So wholesome. Thank you so much for helping me. That was very nice of you. Mm. <laughs> there he goes. Hey, little friend. Oh, hello, you. The noble creeps. Lovers of music. So we will play for them a little bit as well. Hmm. But we don't have enough inspiration for that. So in the game, uh, you will also have different levels of inspiration in case you haven't heard of that yet uh, you don't seem inspired enough to play for the creeps yet maybe we should look for inspiration yeah let's have a look oh and our friend is here as well he's back yay i can literally be i feel like i could easily be like a tt like like this un unnamed creature for now <laughs> Um, this unnamed creature in real life because I feel like I could be a really strong sidekick, you know, to Snufkin if he was <laughs> in real life as well. Like Because so many of my lines are actually repeated by TT and that never ceases to surprise me. <laughs> Try running through that bush. Alright. It seems packed with it. Oh yeah, the jiggling bushes. These are my favorite. If you've seen our previous streams, <laughs> I love the jiggling bushes. Like sometimes I just walk through them so many times. It doesn't really give you a lot of advantage <laughs> if you just continuously do this all the time. But honestly, it's it's more for <laughs> like in my case, for example, it's more just like about personal fun, <laughs> to be honest. The bushes look inspiring, a bit hard to reach though. So let's let's tr ask the bird to help us. So we will play some harmonica for, for the bird. <laughs> so that happened a bit faster than how it was supposed to be. So the way it usually works is that you play for the creatures 
and then you let go of your harmonica and then um, the bird just stings um, the direction that where you stopped playing at so like this for example and we'll also try the bottom one too you see it jiggles in anticipation there we go perfect we are outsourcing inspiration that's how it is <laughs> unnamed creature I hope we will give you a name soon don't know what that name is at all <laughs> that's a lot of inspiration a lot of jiggling as well <laughs> I love this area like dear developers thank you so much for putting it in here <laughs> I just really love this area oh. Oh, all the I got all the inspiration in the valley all right we can also push the objects in here so let's let's try doing that huh not playing no not for the log at least <laughs> at least not for now maybe later we'll see all right uh, and now we are back and now we can see that the level of this creature uh, next to harmonica is not right anymore which means that we can play for them and uh, we are inspired enough and look at those tiny hearts so cute try getting it to follow can you follow me please <gasps> it's and it's following me now we have a group of friends who is following me that's nice oh and they are helping you up too in case it's too high up I'm getting all the jiggles, all the jiggles, and I leveled up! Yay! Alright, let's go through the cave and see what's there. By the way, guys, like, honestly, I just really wanna want you to have, like, a good time on this stream. Just, like, let everything go and kind of just vibe um, to this wholesome and relaxing game so this adventure so just like feel free to just say in the comments how you're feeling today how are you doing that would be like I'd really like to to see that that would be nice and reply some of you as well like it's just it's just this kind of stream you know like you just have your uh, you have your drink and uh, just relax for a little bit with a good and wholesome game. Uh, we haven't mentioned Moomin Troll for, for a while and I start being uh, worried uh, because he didn't get rubs uh, for a while so I, I'm going to give him some extra rubs. I hope you don't mind. There you go with the one. No Moomin Troll in the vicinity from me is sitting alone without drops for too long. I wonder if I can like put him somewhere. <laughs> is it really? I don't want him to just stand there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> let's let's do it like this. Uh, you stay here. You behave yourself. Gotcha. Good. Okay. Yes. You want to say something? Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, so Mumin Troll uh, has asked me uh, to let you guys know that uh, thank you for saying that by the way thank you little one uh, that he's a little bit shy uh, but he's very happy to see you here and he th he he hopes that you are having a good day and despite the fact uh, that there might be cold outside you are staying warm and you're taking care of yourself please do that <laughs> I'm I'm with Mumin Troll on this uh, so please guys um, please take care of yourself during the busy holidays period or whichever period you're at like just please um, take some rest if you need it that's important you are important all right so here we start finding some signs uh, and signs is not something that is supposed to be in the Moomin Valley um, because Moomin Valley is a place where there is a lot of uh, creatures, a lot of um, inhabitants that and nature and definitely there are no signs in nature so let's remove them, no kettles or uh, no teapots, sorry <laughs> no nothing <gasps> who is cutting, like that's the worst, I said that before but I'm going to say that again who is cutting the trees? Like, cutting the trees is the worst. 
Like, you should not, uh, in my opinion at least, like, you should not make nature hurt just because, like, you want to build, like, a park or wh whatever, whatever that is, to be honest. You're doing a very important work here. Serious. Remind me again, what my job was. So, the truth is that, like, uh, I do believe with my whole heart that in the that this park keeper, the guy who looks like a um, moomin troll but is not the moomin troll that we know, um, like I hope that deep in his heart uh, he can um, be a good and nice moomin troll just like this one, just like the rest of them, instead of just being a grumpy pa park keeper who just yeah look he's so cute, like. You shouldn't be a park keeper. You should not build parks in here. Yeah, building the valley f of the future here. But the valley, the way it was, was just fine. No one asked for it. <laughs> Aww. This moment makes me so sad. What about... No, 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 no. I told you to behave, little one. Why, why are you doing this? You should stay like I think I think the little moomin troll here just wants some attention. Um I think I can actually like hold him like this for a little bit. I really don't want to let him go. <laughs> I feel like he's such an integral integral part of this experience. <laughs> and he just doesn't want to be alone. <laughs> so that's totally understandable. All right. Let's let's go. <laughs> Hold! I need you to watch this park while I'm off on business, of course. Bathroom breaks are important business. I mean, they are, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. We'll see about that. Alright, let's remove some science. It makes me so mad. I can relate to that snufkin. I can relate to that snufkin. No boots here, no kicking, no destruction of the nature. Alright, so we have removed all the signs. I was sure there were some rules here. Well, not anymore. We have removed them all. Better go find some rules to uphold elsewhere. Aww. Uh-huh, so if I remove the rules, the police officers leave. Let's get rid of the rest of this park then. Yeah, let's do it. Buy park. Nobody wants you here. No creatures, no critters, no snufkin, no moomin trolls. Yeah, we just want our nice trees, the butterflies and the flowers. That looks perfect. Oh, look at those beautiful flowers here. That's nice. That's really pretty. Space. Alright, let's climb down. More signs here. No, no signs. No, no playing harmonica just yet. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. Who is cutting trees? You do not cut trees. No apples. Why would you forbid apples? I love apples. I mean, it's natural thing to do. Why would you prohibit something like that? Look, we should look for a key. Let's have a look around. And of course, collecting all the jiggly bushes as per usual. Hello there. Ooh. She's upset. One of her ducklings seem to be stuck over there. Maybe there are more, poor thing. Hmm. Don't worry, I will keep you company while the heroic Snufkin saves your ducklings. Now, of course, um, our small creature uh, is not as brave as we are, so we have to uh, do the actual saving of other creatures on our own. <laughs> But that's okay, because we are the great vagabond Snufkin. So why not do just that? All right. Let's play a little bit 
for you, little one. So little and so cute. Did you hear that, Mimi? Me, that song is so cute. All right, and it's fun. and this pee pee sound. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> I probably don't sound even remotely as cute as this one, but <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Reunited with the mother. What joy! But she still seems upset. And there are more darklings around, so let's have a look. Well, you have to be careful with the darklings not to lose them like that. They're so little and they're so cute. It's good that Snufkin and the nameless um, creature has found her and the darklings, because otherwise that would be very tragic if someone else less friendly, like the park keeper and all, would find them. You can pull objects. All right, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now we have to play for this little one. All right, let's go. Found you. Why would you hide under the log? Actually, you're a smart one, you know, because... Um, because that way you are hiding from from anything that can potentially hunt you down. I just hope the log didn't hurt the little one, because that looked pretty huge. Alright, and I think um, might be a bit more of them around here. Mm. There's not a lot of snow in this part of, of Moomin Valley. There you are. But guys, I, I also wanted to show you this this bridge in case you haven't seen it. So this is kind of what I meant when I was talking about um, let's just relax today and just vibe for a little bit. Like here, you can have just some relaxation and some good time. Um, just watching the water and just fishing. Like, let me know in the comments. Have you ever fished? Or, like, when was the last time when you were able to just sit like this next to the water and just stare at the distance? Let's take a bit of a moment here. And while you guys are enjoying this pause in our pace, um, I will have a look for the moment when Moomin Troll meets Snufkin. So, Moomin Troll, it's also in the book Comet in Moomin Valley, uh, sorry, in Moomin Land. So, here, Snufkin and, uh, sorry, Moomin Troll and Sniff, they were on the adventure, and it goes like this. As Moomin Troll and Sniff got nearer, they heard quite unmistakable sounds of music, and it was cheerful music too. They strained their ears excitedly, drifting slowly nearer. At last they could see it was a tent and gave a shout of joy. The music stopped, and out of the tent came a snufkin with a mouth organ in his head. He had a feather in his old green hat and cried, Ahoy! Ship ahoy! Moomin Troll caught hold of the rudder 
and the raft swung towards land. Off with the painter, shouted Snufkin, hoping eagerly up and down. Fancy that, what fun, coming all this way just to see me. Well, we didn't exactly, began Women Troll, clambering ashore. Never mind, answered Snufkin. The main thing is that you are here. You'll stay the night, won't you? We should love to, said Moomin Troll. We haven't seen a soul since we left home, and that was ages ago. Why in the world do you live here in this desert? I'm a tramp. Sorry, I'm a tramp. And I live all over the place, answered Snufkin. I wander about, and when I find a place, and I like it, I put up my tent and play my mouth organ. Do you like this place? asked Sniff, in surprise, looking at the desolation all around them. Certainly I do, said Snufkin. Look at that black velvet tree with the beautiful gray colors beyond. Look at the mountains that are deep purple-red in the distance, and sometimes a big blue buff buffalo comes to look at himself in the river. You aren't by any chance uh, a painter? asked Moomin Troll rather shyly. Or perhaps a poet, suggested Sniff. I'm everything, said Snufkin, putting on the kettle. And you are discoverers, I can see. What are you thinking of discovering? Moomin Troll cleared his throat and felt very proud. Oh, everything, he said. Stars, for example. Snufkin was deeply impressed. So this is how the two of them met for the first time. And this is a nice story uh, to kind of accompany this beautiful view of Snufkin just fishing, just having a break in his adventure. But it's always a good time to go back to our adventure and see what else is awaiting us there. I also like that music kind of pauses at that moment. Um, because it really gives you a chance to listen to the sound of the water and kind of get immersed into that environment. All right, little one, let's get you to your mom. Me, me, me. <laughs> oh my god, this this sound is so cute. I can't help it. Like it, it just it gets me every time. <laughs> All right, let's see how things are going in this side of the map, of the, of the park. Titi! What a wonderful sound, Titi! I'm moved to tears! Maybe that could be your name, Titi? Titi, that makes me so happy! Almost too happy! Hmm. Hmm. How about Titi Woo? A happy start with a sad trail. Titi Woo, happy, sad, and beautiful, like life itself. I love it. Perfect. I shall no longer be known as he who met Snufkin. I'm Titi Woo, my own being with my own responsibilities. Oh, so many responsibilities. Better get to them. <laughs> the lost baby bears. Oh, and the nameless creature. Perfect. We have completed a few of our quests. And Tiddy is on his way. He'll be needing a mailbox now <laughs> for all the responsibilities. Oh. oh, look at how happy she is with the little <laughs> ducklings. <laughs> That's very cute. Oh. Also, uh, I haven't said Moomin Troll for a while, so. Moomin Troll. <laughs> I'm saying that just to give him rubs. <laughs> Get some extra rubs. Yes. This is you. <laughs> All right, so let's pick up the key and let's go open that gate. Yay! We did it. Okay, now it's this important section. Now we have to remove the signs. So let's have a look here. Uh huh. So as you can see, we can hide in the bushes, and I really like the, this cute hat that just kind of sticks out of the bush just a little bit. <laughs> All right, go. Perfect. And yep, that's how we do it. And hopefully we can hide. Yes, hide in the flowers. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> oh my god. 
okay it's it was close enough too close for comfort I will have to be quick to run to the right right after he stops looking be quick 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 it's nothing perfect all right what's here here we just have a nice flower bed and we can go here and knock that statue bam perfect no more statues here stages were not made by nature so nope i disapprove them all right so here we'll have to be quite care careful let's see and bam run away run away run away it's not good perfect we did it just a few more to go just seven more to go <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's play for the bird. <laughs> that was close, oh my god. Oh my god, but that, thank you bird, you're really helping me out here. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I thought he saw me! Oh my god, that happened so fast! Alright, let's see. No, not, not what I wanted, nope. Alright, back, back! Back to the bushes, back to the bushes. Alright. Let's wait a little bit. I like how they, uh, like, how the hat, like, I said that before, but the, the hat is so cute, just sticking out of the bush. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh-huh, you saw nothing, you saw nothing! There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go! Yay! No, 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 get out, get out, get out of the bush! Okay, perfect, perfect. So, what's here? A few more signs. Uh huh. And here we have the bird. Huh, let's see what we can do with it. I see. <laughs> that sound is so cute. Alright, let's try that once again. Because we also need the key. That is right behind that gentleman. There we go, there we go, there we go! <laughs> Perfect. But we haven't... Yeah, yeah, okay. So we can get some more... Remove some more signs in here. Let's see. Uh -huh. So how do we do that? So we need to do that when this guy at the bottom is not looking. Let's see. So right, like right now. No, it's too late. Okay, gotta be, gotta be faster with that. Let's try once again. I believe in you. I believe in you. That's a nice tune, by the way. No, I, I missed again. Okay, now or never. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go! We did it! Perfect, perfect! Yay! Yay! Oh, that was a, a bit stressful. <gasps> no, 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 no! You saw nothing! No, I'm a tree, I'm a tree, I'm a tree! <laughs> oh my god! I've never been busted before! That's my first time! <laughs> Oh guys, you you witnessed you witnessed uh, the legendary moment, the first time I ever got. <laughs> caught. Oh, you don't want to see me here again. Oh, but why? <laughs> like, let me get some some of my hot chocolate. Hang on, <laughs> that's a bit stressful. Oh my god. All right, okay. Everything is fine. Time to get back. All right, you don't mess with me, police officers. Uh, you do not bring your... Actually, why am I doing this? Because I already removed that sign. But yeah, yeah, this one on the right is is a bit tricky. Like, I literally walked right into him. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, But now at least you know what happens uh, when, um, uh, when you get caught. Uh, the, I hope this will incentivize you. Not to get caught. 
No statues here. I do not approve of any statues. I like that this game kind of like yes, there are police police officers who are kind of like the antagonists. Uh, but the game doesn't position them as as evil or like bad guys. Like it's just they are what they are. They're the police officers and they're like beings like us. Oh my god, that brings me so much sadness. Why is the river dry and why does it look so empty and solitary? The river is gone and Mumidrol isn't here. What has happened? That's the question I've been asking. And then, what did you see, Snufkin? What did Snufkin see? <sighs> Let me know in the comments, guys, because I have no idea what he saw, what could be so shocking, so terrifying. Please let me know what your assumptions are and of what that could be. That's... Uh, uh, I have no idea. I just hope that Moomin Troll... No forgetting the rubs. That Moomin Troll is fine and safe and sound, and I hope Snufkin didn't see something too horrible. I just, I just hope that he's kind of worried about his friend and um, his well-being wherever he is. I just really hope that further in the game they will reunite and uh, we'll have a nice wholesome story just like the books. So I hope you enjoyed this stream guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today and um, I really hope that you got to get acquainted with the game quite a bit with the characters and also see how much the art style um, and the stories and the characters they connect with the original works by Tuvi Janssen. If you haven't yet I would highly recommend you first to check out the game but also uh, to check out the books as well uh, in case you're just interested in the Moomin world. Like, you don't have to do that. Like I mentioned before, um, no matter how familiar you are with, uh, with the world of Moomin, um, you will have a lot of fun and a lot of enjoyment uh, playing this game uh, because it doesn't assume that you already know these characters or you know anything in fact about this universe. Like, you can come there fresh and new and uh, just give it a try and just let it uh, bring some joy and wholesomeness into your life. But if you are um, familiar with the Moomin world, then of course you will get to see your favorite and very familiar characters um, quite a few times, <laughs> if not all the time, to be honest, uh, in this game. And yes, like I said, no matter how familiar you are, I would recommend reading the books just, uh, you know, for fun. Um, they they feature a lot of uh, a lot of cute drawings uh, and a lot of uh, wholesome adventures and stories. And to be honest, like it doesn't even matter how old you are or what you like. It's just nice to have sometimes like a break and um, just enjoy uh, a wholesome story once in a while. Wow, I've I have not uh, I don't I did not remember this one, but look, uh, looks like uh, Snufkin and uh, the Mummy Troll have quite adventure, quite a few adventures uh, here as well. So, <laughs> as you can see, it's quite a lot going on. But yeah, so this been me, Daria Driver, and uh, my friend Mummy Troll here, uh, Daria, aka Snufkin, today with my beautiful hat and the feather. And we both think that you enjoyed the stream and we wish you to have a lovely day. Um, and yes, as I mentioned before, please take care of yourself, check out our demo and just enjoy the world of Snufkin and Moomin. We will see you in the next streams. And um, also, yes, as I mentioned before, please check out our social media. We are really, really trying to create a wholesome and cute atmosphere in there with all the characters from our game uh, and some real life videos as well. So we are always happy to see you there and read your comments and just engage with you in a meaningful way, honestly. So see you around and um, have a lovely evening or day. Bye-bye. <laughs>